Hey guys, welcome back to Korean Caffeine channel and I have found this uh, laptop uh, in a corner and I decided to revive with uh, an operating system just for running and showing you. This is a Toshiba model Tecra A810-16, uh, something like this. And this laptop has 17 or 16 or 17 years old, this is incredible. And I revived it with an Ubuntu Linux uh, running on it, so just showing you guys that we can program on this kind of a machine. Uh, this thing has Intel Centrino, uh, it was a good CPU when it came out and is running with 2 gigabytes of RAM actually, so I am running Focal Fossa Ubuntu, in my opinion this is one of the uh, lightest operating system for running on old machines of course you have linux mind it's uh, also extremely light uh, but i was able to run this on with ubuntu linux so just open a terminal and i want to show you that i'm also running docker on it actually uh, we have something like sudo service docker status and I hope you guys see, I want to zoom a little bit actually. And I want to put my password, as you can see, active running Docker. And I just want to show you that I have a front end maybe, uh, running a front end and a back end. Uh, I'm impressed because Eclipse is running faster than VS Code. Uh, and this is an IDE, so it should run slower than uh, than actually uh, VS Code, but you know, just open my workspace, just have a, a Spring Boot project running on it. Just try to to do a clean build and running uh, the uh, Spring Boot application for showing you that. Of course, it's low, you know, but um, yeah. Uh, Given the fact that it, well, it has Intel Centrino and 2 gigabytes of RAM, we are really slow. This kind of hardware, I find, in my opinion, that is good, you know, if you want to start just having this kind of a machines for, uh, you know, test, uh, network, uh, ethical hacking, something like this. So, uh, you have the, uh, what is in the clips for project? clean clean everything and then build and as you can see should start the process cleaning was okay and now we build so should see something in the console actually oh no because I didn't start actually my Java class, but uh, running with this command should good to go. And as you can see, we start to see something. All right, so this is a classic Spring Boot application running. Okay, uh, where is my terminal? So uh, I want to go in CD. I think I have a Git repo folder here. This is where we have Spring Security folder running. So uh, I want to type ng new eleven test for running. Uh, maybe I should zoom a little bit. So since I'm not recording the screen. Okay, so the Angular CLI, it's running a bit slow, but we have patience today, so we wait for this. Okay, no strict mode, routing, yeah, SCSS, maybe if it takes too long, uh, we'll cut the video and I come back when it's ready, maybe trying to open this one in VS Code. All right, so I was able after five minutes to create this ng project. So we have now uh, 
the 11 test project here. So how to get the path for opening in VS Code. Oh my gosh, seems to be pretty heavy VS Code, but I don't mind. We should be able to open. In the meantime, I can also type ng serve Visual Studio Code is ready, as you can see. And I also want to open, uh, what should be open maybe? Um, Firefox. That is lighter than Brave on this laptop. I don't know why, it's pretty heavy. Maybe because it's not a part of the official APT a package manager on Ubuntu, but uh, yeah, we should be able to run it. So I am running ng serve VS code seem to be ready. And yes, we have our application here. So as you can see running front end back end, uh, Docker, uh, as you can imagine, you can also run Python, all this stuff. So that proves that you don't need expensive uh, hardware for starting to program uh, beginning in programming uh, doesn't require expensive materials all the last uh, generation of MacBook or thin laptop with i7 uh, Intel machine or 16 gigabytes of RAM of course maybe if you have an old laptop it sh you should run with 4 gigabytes at least because 2 it's very very slow but just just for showing you that you can s start in programming just with an old laptop I'm not sure I am running the command in my terminal Oh, it's still running. What the heck? So just wait for the ng serve command. Maybe I should have run in yes code. I'm not sure, but okay. Since it's the first time, I think it's gonna compile. As you can see, two gigabytes of RAM, and also the frequency of these old RAMs is very very slow. But at least with four gigabytes, should be able to run uh, something. Uh, and as you can see. Uh, running with npm and node it's heavier than running java classes so the heck is he doing this guy okay we s <laughs> start to see the compiling angular packages uh, we should be able to see suddenly see something but yeah, we don't have any errors, it's just slow, but... Of course, multitasking is not allowed on this kind of a machine. But just for doing... Not heavy duty uh, programming. Just basic stuff. Uh, let's try to open localhost. Yeah, it should compile. Okay, we are running our project. Let's refresh the page. And we have our Angular application. Good, so. Fantastic. So we are coding on a 17 years old laptop. It was a very solid. I'm impressed also the fan doesn't make a lot of noise compared to uh, newest laptop. So uh, we can program in on old machine. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.